Hey everybody, I know it's been a long time since I have uploaded to the main channel. I'll get to that in another video, but the short and sweet is that I'm moving away from making Halo videos only and branching out into whatever games I want. For now, I have much more important things to tell everyone. Just like last year, we'll be raising money for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Full disclosure, for legal reasons, I was sent a package from St. Jude with some goodies inside. I'll show those off later. For now, let's break down when, where, and how we will be raising money for St. Jude. To start off, we are working with St. Jude via the St. Jude Play Live event they do every year. You can choose to raise money as many days as you like. We are going to be raising money for the entire month of May. We do this because Lobos Jr., who has inspired me as a streamer, also goes the entire month of May for St. Jude. Here is our schedule for the month. You can see exactly what games we will be playing during the month and when. Both Dark Souls 2 and Elden Ring are actually challenge runs. For Dark Souls 2, we will be doing a 9980p run. It is a meme challenge run for the game Dark Souls 2, and essentially it's a stat that determines how fast you do things and how safe your dodging is. The joke is that when you are struggling with the game, most people will tell you to level ADP. So we are going to be leveling ADP to its max level of 99, wearing every item that increases ADP, and beating the final boss of the game with the worst weapon in the game. For Elden Ring, we are going to be doing a bow only run. A challenge run where we are only using bow weapons to beat the game. No other weapons are allowed. We also cannot use any spirit summons outside of ones that only use a bow and cannot summon other players. Beyond that, the rest of the games I have not played before, thus, will be new experiences for me. Moving on, we have an FAQ that you can pause and read if you have any more questions. Finally, we have our goal for St. Jude fundraising this year. Last year, we raised $275 for St. Jude, and this year, we're raising to aim at least 500. We have some goals and incentives to help us reach that number. Starting at $25 and ending at 100, we have a few stream rewards like Twitch chat controlled Skyrim and modded Minecraft. From $150 to $250, we have some food challenges like drinking a bean boozled smoothie and eating the world's hottest chocolate bar. If we can raise $300, I will beat Elden Ring using consumable items only, like throwing daggers and throwing pots. Finally, at the grand total of $500 raised, I will film myself attempting the Blazing Challenge from Buffalo Wild Wings, not a sponsor. We also have some individual incentives you can select while sending in your donation. One of them even nets you some stickers, which I have here. These stickers are laminated, as you can see and you get a whole pack of them and you get these by selecting the $60 donation option and making sure that you have these in your quote unquote cart when donating. You, these will begin shipping out sometime after May around the time prize season ends for St. Jude Play Live. As for what else I got in the package, here's everything we got. We got these stickers again, a St. Jude pin, a St. Jude Play Live 2022 pin, some waterless tattoos, which we could probably put on during the stream. Maybe we'll make a $5 incentive for these. Some spicy bean boozled. Now these are different from the regular bean boozled that we're gonna be eating on the stream. Those ones are very different. And if you wanna know more about those, go back in the video and read through the FAQ and they'll explain what bean boozled exactly is. On the other hand, these ones are meant to be spicy, not gross. And as you can see, we have, there's the flavors right there. Some googly eyes, which we can also probably use on stream. A spinner board. If you have any idea what we could use this for, let me know. I'm willing and open to ideas. As well as some information papers that tell you more about St. Jude. Here are the socials, by the way, for St. Jude Play Live. So if you're interested in finding out more, please go to these. Also, make sure to tune in on April 28th, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 4 p.m. Pacific Time, at twitch.tv forward slash St. Jude Play Live so that you can watch the St. Jude Play Live Summit 2022. I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. I hope to see you all in May when we start kicking off this fundraising. A link to donate will be in the description of this video starting May 1st. For now though, there will be a link to my Twitch, so you can go over there, head over, follow, and turn on notifications so this way you don't miss any of the May streams. And up until the month of May, we will be finishing up Elden Ring and playing a couple other games. And fundraising starts in May again. Uh, starting the 28th, though, the link will be um, 
available on my Twitter. So if you want to donate early, you can go ahead and follow me over on Twitter. The link will be there to donate early, or you can actually probably find it now because the thing is up. So if you wish to donate early, you can start now. Uh, feel free to let me know and I'll post it in the comments if you guys wish to start donating now. Again, see y'all in May. Peace.